Just follow my pace, oh. Yeah, no, step up. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, 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 yo. Hey, to my ten years looking back, I wish to be married to, to <laughs> Tiffany. <laughs> I just cannot really. Like, cannot really. I love her as much as I do now and we have a lot of kids and grandchildren. 10 years eh, hello! 10 years a lot, wa. 10 years a lot. 10 years old, 10 years old children have kids update. Okay. You don't know what? I love talking. Hey, what do I wear when he when he comes up? Just wear anything, Yeah, yeah. Just wear a dress first because a bit later then you will change, right? Just can't wait to have you. What are you wearing? Can you look at my side too? Try to change first, yeah. Yeah, this one's a stick of the. Okay, okay, okay. Yo, wow, what's that? Very early. That's my baby. Hi. You wear your knee. Hi. 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 Shine his face upon you and pour his favor upon you. We're going to miss you and we love you very, very much. You are a precious partner. We bless you, we bless your marriage. We're so happy today that you are marrying him next. So we really love you so much and we've been waiting for this day for a long, long, long time. So today we bless you. Uh, to Alright, you're always welcome back home anytime you come home to us. Alright, enjoy your marriage. We'll see you, right? Continue to grow, continue to prosper. We bless you in Jesus' name. She always tells me the truth. Okay. Um, she takes a lot of effort to buy things from Taobao. <laughs> a lot of money also la. A lot of money. Uh, okay. She likes to eat good food. Okay, and spend your money, okay? And, and spend money. <laughs> uh, she always uh, show me different experiences. Okay. Yeah. And okay. the last one is that I love her laughter. Okay, pass. We let you pass. Yes. Pass. Okay, yes. the song is Easy on Me by Adele. Okay. And you must sing loudly. Oh, this one. Okay. Chorus, ah. Yeah. Uh, one verse, one chorus. I don't need the song. Yeah, sorry. Go easy on me, baby. I was still a child. Didn't get the chance to feel the world around me. I had no time to choose what I chose to do. Yeah. 
your hand of your daughter, your son-in-law to be. I hand my daughter over to you this day. You will love her more than we love her. All right. So we bless you. We bless you, and have a very, very fruitful life ahead of you. Thank you. Dear Tiffany, we are officially married. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. Soon. From the day that I've met you, I've come to appreciate and love everything about you. I love your moral righteousness. I love your never-ending love for your family, especially your niece. And I also love your willingness to face and talk about our differences. I remember while we were dating, we spent many late nights in your car just one street away from my house to clear things up because you don't want to let me go home. I promise you that I will not let unhappiness cross over the next day. I promise you that I will love the people you love as much as you do. And I promise to trust, respect, and cherish you. I don't think I'm the most flexible or romantic person, but I always count my blessings when I hold your hand and tell you how much I love you. I really look forward to spending the rest of my life with you. My soulmate, my partner in crime, the love of my life. With this ring, I now marry you. Max, I'm truly blessed to be part of your life, which as of today, becomes a life together. It is impossible for me to put into words the passion and infinite embrace you have on my heart. And the way you live your life so full of desire and dreams, you inspire me to want to do more for our future. I'm so grateful that you walked into my life five years ago with your care carefree spirit and your locker outfit at the airport. And I still remember my friends saying um, that you're the weirdest person I know. But you never fail to spark my curiosity and to challenge my perspectives and to make me go, why do you even think like that? But that was what made me fall in love with you. I pray that I will be the partner God prepared for you and I always speak with you with tenderness and to have patience when love demands. As your wife, I promise to love you with the same weirdness and confidence that you have given me. I pledge to commit myself to our family and the good I know will grow from it. I vow to put us first and to make sure we are constantly working hard to grow together. Just like your ever-growing Lego collection. <laughs> I will work towards being a good role model to our children and to pray that our Mandarin improves so that we can continue to guide them. I hope that our love is the one thing that will always have the last word. Even when the words are I'm sorry or forgive me or you know I love you, right? <laughs> I look at you and I see the rest of my life in front of my eyes. Today, I become your wife, your better half and I can't wait for all the blessings we will, wait, we will have together. I love you and I honour my commitment today. With this ring, I now marry you. I, as a solemnizer by the authority of Singapore, invested in me. Now pronounce you man and wife. You can kiss your bride. The rest of you, close your eyes and give them a warm applause. <笑>我小時候一直在想為什麼你一直忙著工作沒有時間在家
，每当我骄傲的时候，您会叫我往上爬的时候，不要忘记那些需要帮助的人。每当我害怕的时候，您会说有什么好怕？又不是拿去杀头。您每次说您不抽烟、不喝酒、不赌博，虽然我不抽烟和不赌博，但是我有喝一点点的酒。对不起，我一直把您视为理所当然。不管多早还是多迟，只要一通电话，您都会载我出门或回家。而我从来没有跟你说声谢谢。Thank you, l a d y 我很感激有您这么一个好爸爸。您有。你要多运动和少吃太甜或太咸的食物。妈，谢谢您一直照顾我和妹妹。我小时候很顽皮，学讲粗话，被您打之后不爽就离家到楼下的操场。过后被爸爸抓回家，您会用染巴涂我的伤口，还会哭。我叛逆的时候会说，为什么您一直在家管我们，没有朋友？过后，您一直和朋友出去，我就说您为什么不在家陪我？为了照顾我和妹妹，您失去了一大半的青春。我很感激有您这么一个伟大的妈妈。今天我结婚，也算是长大了，您可以放心了。我会好好照顾蒂芬妮和照顾自己。您有空可以多出去，多看报纸，少看那些别人传的乱七八糟的 video。要记得多运动。也可以找我聊天，妈，我爱你。啊 ，Okay， so my dear parents， your love for each other is what inspires me to what to want to have that with Max as well. You have both shown me what it means to be patient and kind to each other, even after all these years. And I know I always complain that I have the middle child syndrome. To you guys, but now looking back, I can't imagine how much that must have hurt you over the years. I want to thank you both for giving me so much in life and for sacrificing so much for us, Daddy. You exemplify what it means to be the head of the household. All these years growing up, we did not have to worry about what happens next to us because you have always been a strong pillar for the family, and you always do your best for the family even till today, like having to work until 1 a.m. on your calls and wake up early to take care of baby the next morning. They always say that the daughter always looks for men like their father, and I cannot agree more. Your attitude in life, though it didn't really rub off for me, is something that Max exemplifies as well. And as I move on to the next stage of my life with Max, I hope that you can be proud that you've taught me well, and that I will do my best to be a loving and dutiful wife to Max. Me. <sighs> You love so fiercely, and sometimes it it hurts. <laughs> But through you, I've learned what it is, what it means to have to give tough love, and to ying sing run. You're the one who showed me how to be empathetic and to bring out emotions in people. You care so hard for the people around you, and your actions always speak so much more than your words. The way you fight for my horrible experience in my gown. To search for items to bring over to our new place, and to continuously always think of your family and your, your daughters before yourself are the little things I appreciate you for. I thank you for showing me how to be so giving and to fight for what we believe in. And I think we are strong because of you. And even though now Max and I are forming our own home, there is still so much to learn from you. And I hope that our relationship can grow stronger as we walk this new path. So our family is not one to share openly about our emotions and our feelings, but I'm glad to have this chance to openly talk about it and tell you both that I really love you, and that you both are an example of how I want to lead my life and my future family, Max. Yep. 
So I love you both and I know you'll be there for us always. Hey, 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 baby, we've been dancing together, we've been dancing oh, yeah. together. Okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> Thank you all for coming. Hope you enjoy the day. Uh, and let's enjoy the lunch. <laughs> let's go! <laughs> the first time I met Max was uh, during the con one of the conferences and then he was always like this guy that's just lurking around. Balance, uh, balance. Okay, okay. <laughs> the rest time beside me. Yeah, just hanging awkwardly around us. But then Tiffany will secretly be very happy and she'll always be like... <laughs> okay, now I got goosebumps saying it. <laughs> When I first know Tiffany was back then when I was in 2016 when I just joined the company, then I felt like she was very fierce. Amanda, sit down. She was just always with Amanda. Yeah, but gradually, slowly along the years, as I got to know her better, right, we even went Korea together. Yeah, for our like uh, holidays, I felt like she's very she's very nice to talk to, and I felt that she's someone you can confide with. Yeah, she will. Yeah, and then and then she, I remember how she made kimchi, and then she delivered to like all her like her friends, and she's very into like the very like things that people like, right? She will not like. She's just very individual, and things that I mean like she is like uniquely herself. Yeah, my best memory of teeth is uh her always being very over the top and extra. Like who buys the takoyaki making machine just to make takoyaki, and how often are you gonna make it? Hello, go and that's how. Uh, <laughs> What do I say? <laughs> uh, yeah, so so happy for the both of you all. Uh, one most memorable memory that I have, uh, I think there's quite a lot. Lah. Uh, especially this period of time when we're all busy preparing for your wedding. Hopefully in the near future, we can also create more special memories together as a family and also together as colleagues. Yeah, so I, I guess my most memorable memory of Max right, was when we were in Japan. Uh, we were drunk together, playing a lot of uh, drinking games and there were a lot of secrets that being spilled. But yeah, I guess we will keep those secrets back in Japan then. Hey Max, uh, Tiffany, congratulations uh, on your wedding on this very uh, auspicious date. Really happy for the both of you guys and remember Zaosun Kui Zi. Anyways, thank you very much uh, for mentoring me all this while. Looking forward to uh, work with you guys. Uh, for the very near future lah. Can walk me. I just want to wish Max and Tiffany a very blissful marriage. So um, I think indeed the future is an exciting time for you guys. So really enjoy the journey. Work together to overcome the challenges that you guys will face as a couple. So all the best and 早生贵子. Max, uh, I guess it has come full circle for you now. Uh, simply because I met you at uh, Seong's wedding, which is back in 2017. And now finally you are getting married. Yeah, so I uh, wish you guys uh, all the best. And like I said again, uh, uh, happy wife, happy marriage. Yeah, I remember last time in uh, Sec 3, Sec 4, uh, with Mrs. Lopez, we will fight for the fan. <laughs> and I also remember holding all those straw stars and straw hearts with you in class. I'll never forget how <laughs> the amount of trouble we got into because of that. <laughs> Uh, thank you for getting me and you yourself into trouble <laughs> for uh, making so much noise in class and getting stolen by Mrs. Lopez. <laughs> yeah. So our group of friends went to Montego Resort together to celebrate another friend's tech night. And actually Max um, dumped the whole, basically dumped the whole bottle of champagne into the private pool. <laughs> Didn't get the drink Remember how Wen Xiang and Ying Jie who just shared chasing each other down the corridors of Dunman High School when we were in Sec 4, they were 16 and they were chasing each other like they are little kids. I, I remember uh, Wen Xiang liked to pull the, the, play the game in the classroom. The, the uh, magician and also the 
must put the the uh, OHP uh, projector screen down so that to then you must uh, do action mah. Yeah, Sumi was the actor and she's a <laughs> queen, right? If I remember. Wow, so glad that you guys are finally hitched. I wrote this card. I have no idea what I'm writing, but um, over here, it stated that you know when I heard that you are getting married, I have no idea what happened. But it's okay. Max, you are always in PJs and uh, you are always very dull. Therefore, over here, I, I stated that you need to have a feisty marriage over here. Okay? Okay, so in order to have a feisty marriage, you just need to treat Tiffany well and she'll treat you well. So very simple, alright? If you are unsure, always come to me for advice. Have a couple of beers and we'll be good. Actually, honestly, I think the only time we really got close together is when we start playing game together. I think end of last year. Then after that, we also go to parents' house, hang out, eat, drink and talk about life. So I think end of the day, I'm uh, really happy that I'm here and thanks for inviting me. And actually after hearing that you are getting married, I was thinking it's a matter of when, how and where. Yeah, so really happy that things are going well. So here's all the best to both of you in the long run. And here's to more drinking, eating and chit chatting together. Uh, funniest memory of him. Uh. I think that. Uh, I can't see my... Your last memory of him. Last memory is having lunch or what do you eat? Hey, stop it, bro! You can't do this. You can't do this. It's for his interview, uh, you know. It's for him, no. It's a lifetime of thing, no. Lifetime messages. Okay, I think I think Max is a very uh, re reliable person. Uh, so whenever you talk to him, you know whatever he tells you uh, is really from his heart, lah. So I think he's a very uh, trustworthy friend and really happy, lah, to be able to know him. Yeah. Wow, finally, after several long years, finally saw you walking down the aisles. Uh, when I first met you, I think it was during our BSC days. So when I first met you, I was thinking, wow, this guy is very serious. Uh, cool and proper, not easy to get along. But uh, as we get to know each other better, as we go on different trips with the company and all, right, I start to realize, eh, actually I'm more joker than serious. Eh. So yours is a typical poker look. Lor. Or everything also say it with a straight face, but you don't actually mean half the things you say. Uh, but uh, long and short of it, just really, really happy that uh, you know we met in the company, and for the past six, seven years, got the chance to work closer and closer together. And now you're married to one of my mentees. So congratulations, treat her well, and look forward to many, many more milestones with you guys, lah. All right, all the best. The best memory we have uh, of Max and TV is when we play badminton together with them. And um, they try very hard to win us, la. yeah. But we won. <laughs> so my, my first memory of Max was uh, we, we didn't know each other. We were in the office, and then he's seated in the cubicle uh, across the, the the room from me, la. So when he does his meetings, I can hear him. When he does his his practice, I can hear him. I was thinking when he first joined, I was like, "Wow, yeah, la, yeah, this guy then perroks, yeah." <laughs> but wow, after about a year, when I hear again, wow, there was a huge improvement. So proud of you, bro. Proud of your growth. Yeah, so uh, for both of you, uh, make sure that always love each other, be patient, and don't tip to the max. So, uh, got to know Max when I was doing recruitment in the campus, and he's one of the fresh grads that uh, that uh, I spoke to. And uh, my first impression of Max is he's a very uh, earnest, uh, very humble, down to earth boy that somehow makes me feel that uh, he's very groomable and very teachable. The memory that I remember of T telling me about Max was when she said that Max looked like Squirtle. Yes, Squirtle. Yeah, Max is probably the one of the most driven person I've ever met in my life. Someone that you know, if you think of the word uh, hardworking, motivated, Max would definitely come to your mind like, if you know him personally. Uh, for T will be someone who is more uh, like what Max put it correctly, uh, she's very caring to people that she's close to and she will protect them very fiercely. Lah. So my favourite memory of Max and Tiffany has to be uh, their wedding proposal. So like when we were preparing <laughs> to help Max propose to Tiffany, it was a lot of like little trouble we went through, uh, things that didn't go well last minute. But I will always remember how Max played his ukulele and Zhao Xia <laughs> over the proposal and Tip was just laughing away. <laughs>
What is this? I don't know. Here are our best guys. Really like that. It's like the chair. Then she kept her feet. Before that, she was like stunned. She didn't cry. Then she cried. Then she kept her feet. She cried. Yeah, it's really cool. For us to remember today, to remember our love for each other now, and that whatever struggles we face, it's only in the point of time. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. That part we move. So, um, we have a lot of kids, and we enjoy each other's company. Uh, spend a lot of time together, as well as build our family together. Yeah. Okay. 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 Bye. I don't know. You just wait. Thank you.